Good on luck, Tony Robinson. Hi guys, uh, we just stopped off today. We're in uh, Crockham Hill, which is on the uh, B269. No, sorry, it's the B2026, which goes down to Eden Bridge from the A25. It's a lovely little, tiny little village just uh, cutting through the main road. I just want to show you a few little uh, sights here. It's really nice. Come and join us. When we come to the pub, I see the Royal Oak, uh, which is a 19th century pub. Now you see a lot of these actually. The old phone boxes are now used as defibrillators. I've just actually done a refresher course on them at work. It's a great idea. They either keep books in there, old books uh, so people just come along and help themselves to, I imagine, or, or they've got a defibrillator in there. Although, I don't quite know how you get in to it because it's uh, locked. Those, the end houses, the white ones, yeah. were all shops at one point. Back, oh, really? back in the 70s, yeah. Okay, to give you a sort of idea where we are, Hever Castle's down that way. Chiddingston is also down that way. Eden Bridge is down that way and the A25 and Limpsfield and Limpsfield Chart is up that way. Just so you got a bit of geography. Okay. This is actually on the London to Lewis Way, which actually is an old Roman road uh, going from London, obviously down to Lewis. Say again? It's about, this is a house that was built um, I think it was over on to Toys Hill, um, and it was bombed in the war, and it, and it killed a lot of young children and, and nurses. But the top half were all staff that died, and the bottom half was uh, all children. That's so tremendously sad. 22 children died. <laughs> I think 22? most of them are, uh, are buried in in Bridge Cemetery. Erected in 2016 by the people of Crockett Hill and Westerham. I've got a book indoors that uh, give you all the information about it. That is just so sad. I think it was a V V1 or a mm -hmm. V. I think it was a V1 that hit it. Now the children from. Now a lot of these old place names come from Old English. Now I'm actually going to bring out a bit of paper here because I want to get it right. Okay, Crockham Hill comes from the Old English crundle, meaning a chalk pit quarry with Ham as a village, homestead or hill. Therefore, the quarry village on the hill, Crockham Hill. That was a shop there as well. Yeah, you can tell, can't you? Yeah. The one across the road, yeah. Okay, we're gonna walk up to the church. Okay, we're at uh, St Trinity's Church on Crockham Hill with a plane coming over. Now if you see on this grave, Octavia Hill. Octavia Hill, 1838 to 1912. Uh, she was the one of the co-founders of the National Trust. Let me look around the uh, graveyard. I think it's a walking trail you can do around. Let's have a look. Hello, what have we got here? Oh! Yes, this is nice. That is just a new one over oh, there. Oh yeah, oh. DSOs and that, yeah. Lovely memorial. Got to admit, that's not too shabby a view, is it? From the churchyard. <laughs> this thing's from 18... It's 19th century church, so... Oh, right, okay. What's great is walking around old graveyards is seeing so much of the history and the gravestones. Now, uh, I can't find any evidence. This is a 19th century church, St Trinity. I can't find any evidence that there was a church or a sacred site on here beforehand. There could well be. But a lot of the gravestones are sort of from the 19th century onwards, some from Second World War. Um, I mean, we're only just past the sort of cut through road where there's so much traffic. It's so peaceful now, so peaceful.
1885. What, that one? Yeah. And of course, like any good churchyard, a lovely yew tree. I love yew trees. Now this has been on the site be well before the church, so that could say that there probably wasn't a settlement or a church before on this very plot. We're also up on a hill, that says a lot. So it could have been an ancient settlement here. Al's just brought up a really interesting point. These gravestones here, along here, are really, really close to the yew tree. So, um, were they replotted? They're awfully close to the roots of the tree. So how did they get the graves there where the tree had been here originally? That's really interesting, that's quite intriguing. There's a lovely stained glass window here. Uh, obviously we, we can't get in the church to show you. It's for uh, Octavia Hill, co-founder of the National Trust. Uh, 1838 to 1912, so she's got her own stained glass window in the village that she lived in. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Octavia. So that's it, guys. Just a quick uh, tour of uh, Crockham Hill. Just want to have, I've always passed through it. When I've been going down to Owls, I drive through it and I've always wanted to stop and just have a little proper walk round. So uh, it's really nice. You can get in the church, but it's 19th century, so I don't think there'll be that much to see. No. No disrespect to the church. Um, and uh, We'll see you next time. Please, if you liked it, subscribe, leave a comment. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.